All right, Dave, my Mac 6 back at the Mecca, and I've got my two favorite boys over here, Toto and George. Hey, How's it going, guys? Good, how are you? Good to be back. I know, man. So, back on JTV, you got shows coming up. Toto's getting ready for the San Diego Ultimate War in two and a half weeks, two and, and half then you're weeks. both doing the Legion the week after, right? Yes. Classic for you, guys. Oh, my God, that's awesome. So, what are we training today, man? Uh, today, we got a good chest. We're gonna do chest, okay. I wanna talk after uh, the workout because George just got his pro card. He's no longer an amateur. It was a long road to the pro card, but he finally got it. And I'm so excited for you, George. So we have him as a pro today, not an amateur. I've got two yes. pros for you guys. We're gonna get it, we're gonna hit it, and then uh, we'll talk later. Thanks, Good to have you guys. Hi, you guys, T minus 2.5 and 3.5 weeks from the Ultimate Warriors and the Legion. And this time, like I said before, we have George as a pro. George, how did I want to start with you because um, it's been such a long journey for you. We've seen you compete over a year. You've been competing for a long time, man, and you always look great. And finally, this year, you got that elusive pro card, and it's going to be your first competition as a pro. How do you feel, man? Tell I me. feel good. It feels like weight off my shoulders. You know, uh, I've been to USA's Nationals, uh, Team U, um, and finally it's just like weight off my shoulders. And now that I'm competing as a pro, it's gonna, I'm gonna make it fun. You know what I mean? I'm gonna have fun up there, have fun with the guys backstage. Uh, I know I'm not gonna win the Mr. Olympia at 53 years old, but maybe I can motivate some guys backstage or they can motivate me and uh, keep working with Toto. You know, guys like you motivate me in here. I'm just gonna have fun with it. You know? Well, I want to talk about this. How long? How long? How long ago did you start working out? Like, take me. When did you actually get into boxing? Because I know you did, you know, voiceover in movies and all kinds of other things. You were a fighter at one point. You've had ten lives. So, how, how long uh, ago did you start training and competing? I I grew up at the Hollywood YMCA. Okay. So my mother checked me and keep me off the street, basically. How old were so you? So I snuck in the weight room when I was ten years old. Jeez. Ten years old. <laughs> and a gentleman by the name of Jack Hughes was a power lifter, took me in the gym and started showing me things here and there. I did my first contest when I was 15, the Teenage Los Angeles. I won a bunch of teenage shows back in the 80s. Oh, wow. And I, I took breaks. And then uh, competed in the 2000s, early 2000s, took another break, and then came back in the later 2000s here and finally got my pro card. Why would you take breaks? You just you were focusing on other, other thing, other business venture, and why would you always come back? Was your passion or? I got into surfing, um, different sports. I was bike racing for a while. Wow. Found out I was really good at that. And, but I always loved lifting weights, bodybuilding, you know? So um, now I stuck with it for, we've been training together for three years. I was gonna say, you guys have been together, you work together, you train together, you're always together. You, you, you went to many, many shows together, competed together. You make a good team, and um, is that what kept you uh, from leaving this time? <laughs> Would you say your <laughs> partnership with him? You can't leave him. That's a big part of it. Yeah, yeah, you know, I love the sport, but yeah, we have such a good setup. We go to work, we come here, we go back to work, go home and eat and sleep, and uh, it's so easy to train with Toto. Yeah. It's just there's no hassle, there's no stress, there's no drama. It's just easy. Yeah. It's probably the best training partner I've ever had. You guys are living the life, huh? Yeah. The life of a, a full-time bodybuilder. Full body <laughs> we make it appear that way. We do have jobs. I know. Toto, um, you must be so proud of him. 
you know, that I'm he finally got. Proud of him. Finally, he got his pro card. It's so great, and he always well looked deserved. great, George. I need some 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 pictures of you at the, at the the show you won your pro card okay. at. Okay. Because once people see you on stage, they won't believe how, how great you look. And and you're right. I think it is going to be an inspire uh, an inspiration for people over 40s, over 50s. Uh, it's never too late if you love something, you know, if you're passionate enough about it, um, you can always make it, right? That's true. Absolutely. And now you're just getting started as a pro, as a professional bodybuilder. Yeah, <laughs> Start <absolutely>. over again. <laughs> so, Toto, tell me, um, how do you feel about this show? You look a lot um, fuller than you did last time you competed. How do you feel about uh, about this show coming up and, and how's your confidence like? Uh, I feel great, pretty much. You know, I've been training pretty much all year, you know, dieting all year, you know. It just, at each show you get better, you know, like dieting is kind of easier for you. And I, I feel pretty confident in coming to this prep and the contest, you know. I'm just ready to kill it. <laughs> You, yeah. you always keep yourself, I mean, pretty much in, I mean, you guys never really get out of shape so, so far. I mean, you always keep yourself in check. Right. But you still told me you, you compared to your offseason, you still lost another like, 20, 25 pounds? 25 pounds, yeah. I can't believe it. It just. You didn't seem that heavy. I know. <laughs> it's probably the water. The water. A bunch of water, too. Much the water weight from the rebound from all the. Because you're never fat. Maybe it's contest prep, yeah. Yeah, you always keep yourself yeah. in shape. How many shows is that for you this year? This year is gonna be the Ultimate Warrior is gonna be my third one of the year. Okay. And the Legion gonna be my fourth one. Yeah. Now, did you show, yeah. did you do did you flip flop between two twelve and classic, or you always uh, do one or the other? My first pro debut was the two twelve okay. at Tampa Pro and Legion, and then this year I flipped to a classic physique. Okay. Uh, and then eventually in the future I want to go back to the 212 division again. So the next two coming up you're going to do classic? Yeah, the next two coming up. <clears> and how close classic. are you to your uh, target weight? Are you like right at the top? I'm, I'm at that weight already, 175. Uh, oh, target. awesome. Yeah. So you're ready now. I'm ready now. Yeah. You're just going to you know, cruise, cruise for the in, next yeah. two and a half weeks. So George helps you with the diet. George actually helps yes, you with he's the so coach. He's, he's the my coach, yeah. partner, my coach, my buddy, you know, my co-worker, everything. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's so easy, you know, we just, you know, we like bodybuilding, which is pretty much our passion, you know. We just talk about bodybuilding all day long. I mean, I remember competing with you guys at the West Coast Classic a few years ago. Wow. You remember that? <laughs> we were all backstage that and stuff. Like, you were yeah, still amateurs back, back then, <laughs> and you're still at it. West Coast, That's a great yeah. show, too, by the way. I know. So, yeah. of course, you know, Legions, which is also a, Chris, a Chris Minnes production. Yeah. Um, how come you're not doing um, uh, San Diego? George, I need a little more time to get in shape. Okay. I was trying to get a little bit bigger. Just to hang with these guys here, yeah. you know, this is a whole different level of bodybuilding. Everybody's on their pro card, everybody's in here training hard every day. So I want to get a little bit bigger and I accomplished that. So now I, I literally have four more pounds to drop. But when you're leaning, those four pounds make a lot, you know. Yeah. Again, as far as coaching Toto, it's so easy. He listens, he does the work. Half the guys you coach, I can tell they're not eating the food you tell them to eat. You know? That's what you do for a living. You guys are actually training people, right? right? Um, Absolutely. Do you, do you want to say where or can, so people can find out or is it okay to tell? Uh, them? Yeah, we're both master trainers at LA Fitness. Which one? Uh, the one on Bundy and Olympic. Yeah. Okay, great. And we train here every day with you guys. That's right. Yeah, around we, also, 12. we both uh, does online training too. Like people okay. Like, you know, wants to do diets and all that stuff. Diets, yeah. yeah. Question about diets and stuff. Toto, sort of, um, have you always wanted to do um, Something in bodybuilding is always, I mean, it, it was there ever uh, a time where you wanted to do anything else as far as career or this, you knew this was it for you? Uh, I think my direction just go to like fitness and in the fitness industry. Really? Much, yeah. yeah. Helping, helping, helping people get in shape, you know? Yeah. As, as far as for myself and also helping people get in shape. Yeah. I'm just asking because George yeah. seems to have done so many different things, <laughs> you know, and yeah. he always gets back to bodybuilding. But sometimes it's a calling. Right. People know right from the beginning that's what they want to do and they yeah. don't want to do anything else. and. And that's okay either way, but I think it's good to try different paths course, and different yeah. avenues because you like this is really what I want to do, and you're still doing it. So no more change of career, George. That's it. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna keep doing with this. I really miss surfing. You do? I miss surfing so much. I watch waves. I watch surfing on TV. So again, you know, I'm getting older. I always be in the gym. I'm gonna do a few pro shows. Again, have a lot of fun with this, but I miss surfing. You know, it's not gonna keep me from the weight room. Right. But. You know, eating seven times a day, you know, yeah. training every day. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's hard to keep up. Yeah. And yeah. it's not cheap, you know. I know it's not. You know, yeah. I go to Costco, I spend $200 every weekend on food. Yeah. And yeah. prepare my own food. I can't afford to buy meals. So yeah. it's a tough, it's a tough hobby. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. 
guys i'm so excited for you guys um i will be at the legion i'm not going to be in san diego but i will uh, i will be in the legion to to see and hopefully we have some good news for both of you guys and after that we take a break what's the plan yes, after the take Legion? A break. Yeah. enjoy the holidays get ready for 212 yeah yes. next year it's gonna next get year. big yeah, yeah i'm gonna get bigger <laughs> All right, thank you so much, guys. You're welcome, Dave. Great to have you, you on the channel. Always a pleasure. And best of luck, okay? Thank you. All right.